All right, guys, today we will be hitting back biceps and forearms. So, like always, just going to be starting off how we normally do, doing some warm sets, all some lap pull downs here. So, and pretty much going to be a normal workout. So, let's just get straight into this first warm set. Just doing some light lap pull downs here. Just going to aim for floor, just nice, easy reps. So, here we go. Set one, warm up set one. All right. Again, not really much changed about today. Going to be same as normal, like I just said quite a little bit ago. So, again, this is going to be the second to last day I'll be recording these for a while again. Like I've been explaining the past week or so, or this week so far. Again, I just kind of want to take my break, get my thoughts together, and everything. Because, again, I just had a lot of stuff to think about again. I'll talk about it more at the end. But, yeah, after this, I'll have one more day hitting shoulders and legs tomorrow and then taking a break for a while. So, again, pretty much going to be the same workout today. Like I said, going to be starting off with four sets of lap pull-downs. I'm moving on to four sets of single arm dumbbell rows. Then four sets of some um, just normal dumbbell curls. Four sets of seed dumbbell curls, and then finish it off with four sets of some form exercises. So, yeah, um, again, let's have a good workout today. Again, always prioritize my form, going as strict as possible, and then um, obviously going our hardest, trying our best on every single set we do. So, let's go to the second warm set now. I'll see you then. Okay, warm set number two now. Again, just gonna do three nice easy reps, move it off one clip here. So here we go. Alright, and there's three. Again, when I do these with my actual working weight, I don't like going down all the way to my chest. I just kind of feel like it it just doesn't feel natural to me, I guess you can say. So I don't know, maybe in the future I'll try going a bit lighter, just controlling it better going all the way down. But right now what I've been doing just like kind of right below my nose, like eye level ish is kind of where I like to feel it. Again, it gives me a good feeling on my back, so I know I'm obviously doing something correct, so and let y'all like doing them. Then again, doing some partial at the end, just kind of for that extra, I guess, squeeze, I guess. On those partials too, I like really using lots of momentum going down and then slowly go back up because I like just slowly stretching my back out, I feel. So yeah, again, go for today, just prioritizing that form. Again, I still feel like I can work on a lot of stuff, but I'm just a lot more comfortable doing it off camera. It's just, again, another reason why I want to just take a break. And there's multiple other reasons, so. Anyways, let's go to the third last warm set of these lap pull downs and then we'll get right into the workout. Okay, fourth last warm set of these lap pull downs. Here we go. Again, just gonna do two nice easy reps here using our working weight. Alright. So yeah, pretty much explained everything I really needed to say, I think. Um Again, when we do back for these and for those, just really trying to get that nice squeeze, that nice like my, kind of mind muscle connection. I feel like that's when I best feel like that really nice squeeze there going on. So again, just controlling that, really getting that nice contraction at the top of movement. I guess you can go along with like any exercise too, biceps too, when I'm curling it up, really get that nice squeeze at the top, slowly go down. That's what I want to be doing today with everything. So. Other than that, um, again, I think I said about everything. Don't really have much to talk about right now, so again, I'll talk more about everything I'm thinking. Kind of finalize it by now, but I'll just keep giving you guys updates for today and then tomorrow. I'll give you like the final say of what I'm thinking. So, anyway, let's go to set one, first set of these lap pull downs. Again, going as strict as possible, trying our hardest. See you guys for set number one of some lap pull downs. Okay, set one here of these lap pull downs. Again, going, trying to go nice and strict here, really getting that nice squeeze. And then again, doing some partials at the end there, going our hardest. Set one, here we go.
I think we'll get 12 there. Whew, let's go over these partials real quick. All right, and we are done. Whew. Okay, so 12 reps are the same as last time. I got an overall. I feel like that did go pretty good. Um, I feel like I control it pretty well. Definitely feeling nice. Definitely pretty nice in my back, so it's what we want. Um, other than that, I really don't got much to say about those. Again, maybe in the future, try maybe seeing how it uses, seeing how it feels, using that lighter weight and just going all the way down to the chest. But again, I don't like doing it with this because it just kind of feels uncomfortable. So I'll let go eye level like around my nose where I can actually see it past my face. And then once I can't get it like past that eye level, I'll basically say I hit failure because I can't fall down all the way anymore of where I want to go. So 12 reps there. Definitely feel pretty nice in my back. But um, yeah, I guess let's just continue doing these. Again, really don't got much to say about these right now. Like I said earlier, I really want to improve a lot of stuff off camera. I just feel like being able to do that will be a lot easier. I'll just be able to, again, just want to think about stuff, not needing to record this everywhere because, again, it is hard to track my workouts while I am doing this too. So that's part of the reason. Again, there's many reasons, but I just feel like overall, just got to get a lot of stuff together and everything like that. And I have lots of other priorities school. So, yeah, I just got to try and manage everything. But this upcoming week too, I do have a spring break, like I was saying earlier. So I'll have a lot of time to think there. So. Anyway, let's go to set um, two lead lap pull downs. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Trying to replicate how this first set went. I'll see you guys for set number two lap pull downs. All right, set three here of, or not set three, set two. What am I saying? Set two lead lap pull downs. Here we go. Again, let's try and replicate how that first set went. Finish with 11 there. Whew. Really starting to feel now. Okay, let's just drop set. <clears throat> All right, and we're done. Whew. Again, those partials, I'll like just get to a point where I like physically can't really pull it down anymore, no matter like even if I'm using trying to use some momentum there. So Basically just doing those until I really can't move the bar anymore. So again, definitely getting a nice feel in my back. It's exactly what I want. So again, let's just keep going with this. Really don't got much to say right now. Again, one thing I have a problem with with these videos too is sometimes I'll talk too much. Like last set, I talked way too much. And I need to I couldn't even track it, so I'm gonna need to track it after I'm done talking here. So sometimes like the sets will be longer or shorter. I don't think that really matters though, but Again, just for the sake of tracking, is also why I just want to take a break from this. But I think I, think I said that earlier too, but... Anyways, back's feeling nice. Right now, let's just focus on this workout. Again, I'll talk about more of that. Talk more about that at the end, but... Back's feeling great. Um, again, really, the more and more of these we do, the, the pump really starts building up back, really starts getting tight. So, you can feel it, starting to feel it, which is exactly what we want. Let's keep going. See so you guys for set three of these lap pull downs. All right, set three now of these lap pull downs. Again, let's just try to replicate how these last two sets went overall. I think they're pretty good. Set two, here we go.
All right, and there's lava again. Whew. I meant my the third set, not second. Anyways, um, let's do these partials. All right, and you're done. Set three. Yeah, I actually said set two at the start. I meant set three, but third set done again overall. So far, same under reps as last time, but that's still pretty good. Last time we did improve one rep, we were stuck on like, I think 11 reps on the first set for like a month or so. So just that improvement there was pretty good to see last week. So keeping it up this week, that's pretty good. Getting overall backs feeling pretty nice. Let's just continue doing what we're doing. We got one more set left of these and then we'll move on to some single arm dumbbell rows. Again, with those, just make sure we're going all the way up, really getting a nice squeeze at the top, slowly going back down. So, see you guys for set four, last set of these lap pull downs, and then we'll move on to the single arm dumbbell rows. All right, set four, last set of these lap pull downs, then again, moving on to some single arm dumbbell rows. So, it finishes off nice and strong, and just keep doing what we've been doing for these. Here we go. Okay, I'm only able to get 10 there. Almost got 11, but 10. So he's drop set. Here we go. And I think that's about it. Whew. All right, so finish it off with 10 reps there. So same on as last time overall. Again, really no complaints there. Again, I can always, always think, and I can definitely just go stricter, more strict every single time. But I mean, you can always improve on your form there. So, still can definitely feel it really good in my back. It's what I want. Again, I just feel like I can be just going that much more strict with these. Again, that's just another reason. I just want to be able to capitalize on my form, not need to record this all the time. Because for some reason, it makes me think when I record is that if I like get less reps, it just gets in my head or something. But I don't know if that really makes sense, but for now, let's just move on with some single arm dumbbell rows. Um, again, going nice streak with those, really getting the nice squeeze at the top. See you guys for set one, some single arm dumbbell rows. Back's feeling pretty good. Okay, set number one of these single arm dumbbell rows. Again, just really trying to go nice and strict. You're getting that nice squeeze at the top. Set one of these single arm dumbbell rows. Here we go. Again, always going to hardest, going to failure. So here we go, set number one. Got 11 there. Other side, here we go. Shirt's a little bit too big to do these in, anyways. Other side, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, and we got 11 by 11 there, so same as last time there. Yeah, I feel like we've got 11, like, I don't even know, like the past three or four times. Again, I just feel like I shouldn't be stuck at something for that long. Again, that's, it also makes me sometimes when that happens just wondering if I should deload because I've never done a deload. Again, that's just something else I was thinking about. If I just take a break, maybe do a deload, just lift a bit lighter for a week. Not going as close to failure because I do go train to failure quite a bit and it does build up fatigue. And I heard you can get overtrained by doing that, but I don't really know. Um, let's just keep doing this though, going our hardest. Can definitely feel it right here in my back, getting a nice squeeze at the top. So 11 by 11, let's go to set two of these single arm dumbbell rows. Keep doing our best. Okay, set two of these single arm dumbbell rows now. Again, let's try and replicate how that first one went. I feel like we went pretty decently strict there. So. Set two, here we go. Alright, 11 there on the right side again, left side, here we go. Alright, and I finished off 11, 11 there again. Whew. Again, with this, I feel like so far, these first two sets, I definitely feel like I've been controlling it pretty well, though. Again, although, like, our reps have been the same, I feel like I'm getting a bit better at just really going nice and slow, getting that quick contraction at the top. So that's a good thing right there, but again, you know, I just feel like something's wrong with them. I don't know, because I, like, Again, I just kind of want to do lots of fiddling around with my training, I guess you can say. But um, again, it's just a reason. Just want to get a lot of things together overall. But again, let's just keep going. I can feel great in my back. Let's go to set three of these single arm dumbbell rows. Okay, set three now of these single arm dumbbell rows. Here we go. Again, trying to replicate how these first two went overall. I think we are doing pretty good. Set three, here we go. Alright, I think that was only about 10 a year we'll get there, so same as last time once again. Left side, here we go. Alright, and 10 there on the left side, whew, 
again, sometimes when I'm doing these too, my feet touch my socks. Like this is kind of rubbery and slippery. My feet will slip a little bit, especially on the left side. Sometimes on the right side, I do have like dumbbells that stop me, but it is what it is. Again, overall, still feeling that pretty nice in my back. So just keep going. We got one more set left of these. Let's go to set four of these single arm demo rows. Then again, moving on to some dumbbell curls. Last set of back. We'll be recording for a while. So make this the best. See you guys for set four of these single arm dumbbell rows. Okay, set four, last set of these single arm dumbbell rows. And after this, we're moving on to some biceps. So finish this off nice and strong. Set four. Here we go. Alright, and we end it with the 10 there again. Left side, here we go, and then we are done. And we're done. So finished off there 10 by 10. Man, I actually hit myself in the knee with that. Anyways, um, done with back. Again, overall, back is feeling pretty good. Definitely feel like just getting that nice squeeze once again at the top. Just can just feel it. I definitely feel my back pretty nice just doing that right there. So let's move on to some biceps now again and kind of give a little recap at the end, talk a bit about things like that. So overall, back feeling good. Again, Feel like we can make some improvements here and there, but for now, let's go straight to some biceps. See you guys for set one of some standing bicep curls. All right, set one of these standing bicep curls. Again, using this wall right here just kind of stabilize me, prevent me from using too much momentum leaning back. Using the same way as normal. Again, going nice and strict. Going our hardest. Set one. Here we go. Thirteen air score for these partials. Here we go. All right, and we are done with set number one. Whew. Same reps as last time there, but thirteen reps. Overall, I feel like that went pretty good. Control it pretty well. Definitely feel that absolutely great in my biceps. Just like flex them right now. I, I can just feel it. Just really feel like I'm getting a nice contraction there. Again, overall can never really go wrong with these bicep curls. So just continue doing what we're doing. Normally these do give me a crazy pump too. So that's always great. Let's go to set two of these bicep curls. Let's keep doing our best. And again, always making sure we're really trying to go as strict as possible. 
See you guys for set two of these bicep curls. All right, set two now. These bicep curls, gonna keep doing what we're doing again. Normally, reps do drop pretty quick here. I'm guessing, obviously, just because of the fatigue building up there. So, again, let's just keep doing our best. Set two. Here we go. <laughs> All right, ten reps are partials. Here we go. <sighs> All right, and we're down to set two. Who? Again, those partials just give me like that much better of a pump. Like every single one of those you do, man. Like my arms get so tight, really start getting the the blood pumping in my arms. So, whew, let's keep going. Again, don't really have much complaints about these right now. I feel like they have gotten better since we started using this wall here. So yeah, arms really starting to feel nice and tight, which is what we want to be feeling. These are going pretty hard. So. Let's go to set three of these bicep curls. Just keep doing what we're doing. See you for set number three. Okay, set three now of these bicep curls. Here we go. Again, let's keep doing our best. Set three. Again, you're really trying to go nice and slow control. It's really getting a nice contraction like normal. So set three, here we go. I think we're able to get nine or score these partials. Here we go. <sighs> All right. And we are down to three. Whew. I think we, get, we got nine there. So last time we were only able to get eight. So some improvement there. Again, I was I was really only expecting to be able to get eight, but I was like, when I was re releasing that back down, I was like, I feel like I can go for another rep, and then, yeah, I was able to get it out. So pretty nice there. If you got one more set left of these, then we'll move on to some seated dumbbell curls. So again, these right now really can't go wrong with these biceps. Feel amazing. Arms are nice and pumped up. Let's go to set four, last set of these dumbbell curls. All right, set four, last set of these. Dumbbell curls, and I'll move on to some seated dumbbell curls. So, finish this off nice and strong. Again, just trying to do all these last few sets right here. Set four, here we go. <laughs> All right, now I finished with eight, so he's partials, and we are done.
All right. Yeah, we're done, man. Whew. Once again, arms are just feeling absolutely amazing. Finished off with eight there, so able to get one more rep on these both these last two sets here. So that's always great. Arms feeling nice and pumped up right now, nice and tight. That's a good feeling. Biceps nice here, just flexing them, man. Just it just feels amazing. They're nice and pumped up. So let's move on to some of these seated dumbbell curls now. Again, using the same way for those. Just keep doing what we've been doing for those. Really don't got much to say. See you guys for set one of these seated dumbbell curls. Biceps are feeling amazing right now. All right, set one of these seated bicep curls. Here we go. Again, really trying to go nice and nice and strict with these. Really, if you're looking for that nice, just contraction at the top once again, just like the normal standard bicep curls. Here we go, set number one. Again, doing some partials at the end here too. <laughs> All right, got 12 there. Let's go over these partials. And we are done with set one. Whew. Okay, so 12 reps there, same amount as last time. Again, I feel like when I do these curls too, it also does target my forms quite a bit too. I can definitely feel forms are pretty tight. So again, let's just keep going with these. Still definitely can feel biceps really nice. Just overall, like from here down, like all throughout my arm, not my tricep really, because obviously I didn't hit tricep today, but like all throughout my arms, like. It feels like it's about to explode. Not literally, but just nice and tight. It just feels really tight there. So let's keep going. That's what you want to feel. Let's go to set two of these. See a dumbbell curl. Just keep doing what we're doing again. Really focus on getting that nice contraction at the top. Slowly bringing it back down. Just stretching out the biceps. So see you guys for set two. These seated bicep curls. Okay, set so number two of these bicep curls now. Again, let's just keep doing what we're doing with these. I feel like overall that first set was pretty decent. Biceps again. Feeling pretty amazing. So, set two. Here we go. <laughs> All right, and we got 12 there again. Partials, here we go. And we're down step two. Man, 12 reps there again. So, so far, again, same reps. Still, I feel like we're going decently, decent form. We're getting nice feel in the bicep, which is what we want. So, yeah, just doing this, I can literally just feel my, I don't know how to explain it, but I can just feel my arms like stretching out. It feels absolutely great. So, let's keep going. Again, can't really go wrong with the bicep work, whatever. You always get a great pump, or at least for me, I always do. So, Let's continue doing this. Go to set three, seated bicep curls. Just keep doing our best. See you for set number three. All right, set three of these bicep curls. Again, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Biceps are feeling awesome. So, set three, here we go.
<laughs> All right, eleven. Let's go over these partials now. And every once in a while, those partials are kind of like changing it up. Sometimes I'll just kind of go up here. Sometimes I'll go all the way up and really try and go nice and slow on the way down. Because again, coming up here is obviously going down is the easy part. But um, when you actually focus on the eccentric more, that's one of the like the most important part of every set you do is the eccentric or whenever you're um muscle is stretched out the most so really going slow on that centric is just like slowly tearing the muscle apart because if you go too fast obviously tension will just go straight off of it so just trying to slowly go down there slowly kind of rip those muscle fibers and it absolutely feels great once again we got one more set left of these and then we'll be moving on to some um forearms so last set of biceps again you'll see me recording for at least two weeks again unless anything drastically changes um, so yeah, let's go to set four, last set of the seated bicep curls. Let's make the best. Okay, set four, last set of these sit and seated bicep curls, last set of bicep curls again. Last set of any bicep work that I do for quite some time recorded for you guys. So yeah, I'll still be working out, but just want to take a break from recording and everything. Just want to think about a lot of stuff. So set four, here we go. <laughs> yep. All right, sorry about that. Let's go over these partials real quick. Alright, so finished off with 11 there again. <laughs> so, yeah, done done with biceps. I'm moving on some forms now. Yeah, I'm sorry if I, I might just cut that part out. My dad came down here real quick, but anyways, biceps feeling amazing. Feeling got a nice pump going on. So, let's move on to some forms now. Again, doing what we normally do for those. Overall, I feel like so far, so good. Again, got a great pump going on. Arms are feeling nice and tight, so let's move on some forms now. Four sets of some forms, and then we are done. So then again, we'll just we can check the pump out, give you guys just a little update on everything, what I'm thinking, and everything like that. So yeah, um, let's continue doing this. See you guys for set one of some forms. Okay, so one of these form exercises now. Starting off some form curls. So again, I've always really liked these. So. Again, really just looking for that nice, just really tightness feeling the forearms here. Going until it really starts burning. Set one. Here we go. <laughs> All right, 15 there. Whew, again, man, really start getting that burn there at the end. 
Other side, here we go. All right, and we are done with set one there. Whew. Again, the, these really have nothing to complain about with these. Like, my forearms, they just feel insane after these. So, again, they're already pretty fatigued from doing just normal bicep curls, but then putting these on top of it, it just burns more and more. So, let's continue with these. We got one more set of these, then we'll do some uh, forearm extensions, whatever you want to call them. So, they just keep going really up again. No complaints about these right now. They make my forearms feel like they're about to explode. So let's go to set two of some of these forearm curls. All right, set two of these forearm curls now. Here we go. Now let's just replicate how that first set went right there. <laughs> All right, oh, man, I think they're only able, really able to get about 13 out there. Other side, here we go. <laughs> all right and we are done oh my gosh man again these just feel amazing um anyways don't feel forearm curls feeling absolutely great like i just said so gonna be moving on to these extensions now we got two more sets left for forearms then we are done so yeah um i guess let's go straight to those forearms again they're feeling absolutely amazing right now i have really no complaints about those Really don't know how to feel about the extensions though, so it's gonna be the last time to do, we do them for this training plan. So I'll probably change them next week when I when I stop recording these most likely. So anyway, let's go to set three of these form exercises now. See you then. All right, set what am I saying? Set three, not set one, but set set one of these form extensions, but set three of these form exercises overall. So. Let's keep going with these. Again, not quite sure how I feel about these yet. I think it's the last time I do them. If I just don't really have a good feeling, I'll probably change them this upcoming week here. But set one. Here we go. All right, 14 there, man. Can I can definitely feel on the left arm there. Other side, here we go.
<clears throat> All right, man, we're done, man. I think, I think that definitely was a, that was probably the best set we've had of those like the whole time we've done them. Felt in the left one there again, trying to target like more of this part of the form I'm doing though. So definitely felt it there. Um, so yeah, um, let's go to we got one more set left of these. One more set of the workout and we're done. So let's finish this fourth last set of these forearms off nice and strong. Definitely feel like I, I like that one there. So I think we will continue doing those. Again, I just kind of needed to adjust myself to try and find that like certain technique that I wanted where I could really get that nice feeling of the forearms there. So let's go to set four, last set of these forearms, last set of the workout. See you for set number four. All right, set four, last set of the workout, last set of these forearms here. So let's finish this off again, nice and strong. Here we go, set four. <laughs> all right yeah i only able to get 12 there who again i think i'm really starting to figure it out with these now other arm here we go All right, and we are done. Whew. So, 12 by 12, finish it off again. Not the worst. Definitely feel like overall, I am starting to feel it better in the forearms right there. So, done for workout for today. Um, again, last back bicep forearm workout will be recording for a while here again, at least two weeks if I change my mind. But probably more than that if I continue going on the path I am with everything like that. But quick recap again, back on um, for lap pull downs maybe. Try just going a bit more strict with those, maybe lightening it up, actually going all the way down to my chest, seeing how that feels. But overall, again, still with the weight I'm using, feel like I'm still feeling really good in my back. Again, um, trying to keep that just going below eye level, and once I can't do that, I basically say just reach fit at that point. I still feel like it's pretty measurable doing that too. Um, single arm dumbbell rows, again, just keep doing what we're doing for those. Um, again, that just getting that really nice squeeze at the top. Biceps, I feel like biceps went pretty decent today, especially those standing curls. Got um, one more rep there on the last two sets, so that's always good. Again, just keep really getting a nice squeeze at the top, slowly releasing it down, just stretching the bicep out. Same with those sitting ones, sitting um, bicep curls too. So and then for forearms, again, I feel like those definitely went pretty good. Really don't got much to say about those. They give me a great feel in my forearms. So yeah, I think that's really about it. Um, I guess let's check out the pump. I'll explain a bit more about what I'm thinking and everything. Yeah, after this, we got one more day left of the training plan. And then at least, again, like I said, a two-week break. So see you guys in a little bit. Um, let's go check the pump out. All right, pose back, bicep forearm workout. Again, overall, pretty much good workout. So last one, again, I'll be recording for a while. Again, just thinking about taking that break. So take sure off real quick, see how we are looking. Then once again, no really complaints about today. Like overall, we're pretty sure had some decent strength improvements doing those um bicep curls, so that was pretty nice. But yeah, again, it's just still I feel like I can overall improve a lot on some certain things still. Again, it's still kind of why I want to take a break. So yeah, overall feeling good. Got a decent pump going on. Ooh, and forms are feeling quite insane too. So yeah, overall feeling pretty good.
Sorry about that, but otherwise, really don't got much to say once again. Like always, pretty good workout. Arms feeling insanely pumped up. Forearms real quick. Then I always used to do this and like, see my veins maybe a bit better there. But yeah. Again, referring back to, not referring, but just going back to what I'm thinking and everything. So let's check it back out real quick, but talk a bit. I think we're just going to do the flexing first, I guess. And then I'll just talk a bit more at the end of what I'm thinking. Back's feeling pretty darn good, too. Nice and tight. Just kind of squeezing it like that. Feels amazing. But yeah, um... Otherwise, really don't think I have much to say right now. But yeah, um, again, everything I'm thinking right now, I just want to take a break overall for a while, at least for two weeks again. With my spring break coming and everything, it's going to be hard to let it on, get a workout in. It's going to be hard to just uh, do everything pretty much, so. That's one reason, again, I'm also thinking of playing football, and I I obviously won't really be able to record you when I'm doing that either, so if I eventually do that. And I'm not really getting anything out of making these videos either. I make money doing my editing for my football TikTok page. That's kind of another reason I have that football TikTok page. And I'm making money doing that. I'm really not getting anything out of this. So, again, it's not my best favorite thing recording these videos either. It's kind of a pain in the butt for me sometimes. And it's kind of hard to re record my workout and sometimes I feel like I'm plateauing. I don't know if I should deload or not. So there's just all kinds of reasons like that. Again, I'm only ever going to be able to play high school football in high school. So I can always go back to bodybuilding too if it never works out. Again, I'll still try and post maybe every week, every month or so on here. Again, um, it's just everything I'm thinking right now. Again, going to be stretching the strength training. And no matter what I do, if I change my mind or not, but right now I am leaning more towards football. I'm still be posting every week on my Instagram, hopefully. But other than that, I think that's basically like my final thing and everything. Again, I'll give you kind of kind of like a final update tomorrow because that's going to be the last work I will, I will be recording. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it, I guess. Feeling pretty good. I feel like this last workout here for back and bicep finishes off pretty nice too. Again, just want to make tons of modification with my training plan too overall. So, yeah, I think that's really about it. Um, again, I'll give you guys one final update on uh, tomorrow on Friday. So, yeah. Um, Otherwise, I'll say like my final, not final goodbye, but I'll still, again, try and post me every week, every month or so. I just won't be going as much because I don't like my, I want my YouTube account to be dead. So, again, feel free to subscribe if you are watching. Um, again, I just want to keep inspiring other teenagers or anyone in general to start lifting, getting big. So, getting bigger, stronger. Other than that, feel free to check out my Instagram and Discord. Um... Don't really think got much else to say. Again, I'll give you guys one final update on tomorrow. So, yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for one final time tomorrow.